Good afternoon, Elizabeth. Nico from Cliff Jones RV here in Sealy. I want to make a video for you to show you this awesome Wolf Pup 16 BHS. I know that the other model you're looking at is very appealing on price point, but I wanted to show you a couple of things that's going to make this Wolf Pup different than the other one. So, stay out in the front. Cool thing about ours, this is a manual jack. But what you can do if you have a drill and a three quarter inch bit, you can just operate it like this going up and down. So you're using a drill rather than your hand to raise and lower it. This does also come with built in solar as well. So you can run everything that I'm going to show you here just on battery for an extended period of time with the solar there. So we do have the front storage compartment here. This is underneath the main bed. Solar controller is there for the built in solar system. Also, this RV has four stabilizer jacks on that other one. It only has two. So you have two stabilizers in the front and two in the back one on each side. We also have marine grade speakers out here so you can play music just inside, just outside or both. You don't have to worry about these becoming brittle and deteriorating over time. Uh, these will hold up really well outside. We do have the large electric awning with blue LED lights as well to eliminate this area outside. It does feature a fancy Paragon tempered glass door. It looks really great, but you do still have a backer here for security. Also on this Wolf Pup, we do have an extra large door handle. Some of the RVs come with a tiny little plastic handle, but this one has three folding positions like so. And it makes it easier for people of all ages to get in and out. Also, this features the more ride step above steps like you would find on a fifth wheel. They are super secure because the feet touch the ground. There's no give and you can adjust the feet as needed. We we'll also have a fridge outside as well. So you conveniently get to drinks and snacks without going in and out of your camper. We also have a mount on the outside for a TV too. This mount is included inside. You just slide it off, it goes on there. And then we have coaxial and power here. Also the furnace, this is the main heat source for the RV. That's one of the big differences I was telling you about. This one works on propane. So uh, let's say your camp is somewhere right now without electricity, you can still have heat as long as you have battery power and propane. This is the intake and exhaust for the furnace. So if you're standing here, you can gather some warmth outside as well. This RV also features upgraded wheels, looks really great. And we have tire pressure monitors on the valve stems there. So as long as it's green, you're good to go. Also, we have a leash latch on the back. So if you wanna uh, bring your four-legged friends along and keep them tethered nearby. This RV also features a rack on the back. So it's rated for 200 pounds total. If you wanna put a generator or ice chest, you can do that. And it does include a spare tire as well. The other one does not. So uh, you'll have peace of mind knowing that you do have a full-size spare on the back as you're traveling. Another great thing, we do include a backup camera with our Wolf Pup as well. That's a $800 value that is included here and I'll help you set it up with your phone as well. So we have a LED light outside as well. So whenever you're uh, attending to your uh, valves here, you can see early in the morning, late at night without a flashlight. It's just one for the gray, which is sink and shower and black, which is the toilet. They're uh, in one, so you just need one hose, not multiple hoses. Here we have the bunks. This is access for storage. Here we have the bottom bunk. This just folds right up. And you have this whole area for storage here, which is really great. This does also feature a deadbolt as well for security. This is a 30 amp power unit. It comes with a detachable cord. And this is where that plugs in. We also have an outdoor shower with hot and cold water so you can wash your feet off out here without getting your camper all dirty. City water here for continuous water if you're at a park. You just plug in with a water pressure regulator that gives you continuous water for your sink and your shower. If you want to go off grid, you can fill that tank and use the onboard pump to circulate water inside. And we have a dual power. It's propane and electric water heater. So if you run out of propane at midnight, if you have main power, you can still get hot water without having to refill your propane. And this RV is virtually identical on weight. It is 3,877 pounds loaded. So you still have plenty of headroom for your tow vehicle. Coming inside, this layout's gonna be very familiar, but this does have upgraded equipment versus the other. Camper queen bed in the front here. Dinette that turns into a bed here. Single bunk here. This one is still folded up. As I was showing you outside there, just goes right down like that. Bathroom here in the rear. Great thing about this model is that you do have a hygienic sink, so you can brush your teeth here uh, in the sink without having to use the kitchen. And we also have a big exhaust fan that helps uh, on hot days. What you do is you get a max air guard, put it on top, have this open, have the fan open, 
and on and have a window open and it keeps it about 10 to 15 degrees cooler in here versus not having it. Another great thing about this model is that it does have a 10 cubic foot. So we're probably double the size of others in this class. So you have 10 cubic feet. It's super deep. There's no propane components as on others because this is all electric and it cools down super fast being uh, compressor based rather than propane drip. And here we have the battery disconnect. So whenever you store your RV, if you ever want to just turn the battery off, you just flip that switch and it will not deplete your battery. Uh, here we have the converter and all of your uh, switches here for the breaker box. So if you have any issues, just check that out there first. Residential power microwave, it'll very quickly and evenly heat food. A range hood that does work, it will vent outside. Two burner cooktop with a glass insert to give you additional counter space here. Another great thing is that we have a one piece undermount stainless steel sink, which is much more sanitary than plastic. And also a hand sanitizing station here as well, which is really cool. Overhead storage here. And also the brain of the RV is right here, right by the door. This is a backlit panel. So you can see at a glance where all of your tanks are at and everything. So the red little dot, that's your fresh tank. The uh, green one is the black tank and the orange one is the gray tank. Also it shows you where your battery is at on and control down here, uh, your light control, water heater, water pump. And this is also a smart panel. So you can download the Lippert One Control app and control many aspects of your RV from the app as well as control that backup camera. So here we have the main bed. What's really neat, this just lifts right up and this is actually your outside storage. So on a rainy day, you can get to whatever you need in the front here from the inside. The TV mount is here. It does have an onboard antenna so you can catch local channels. Overhead storage here. This RV is also ready for a hotspot. I'll be happy to give you more information on that if you would like it. This is a dock for a Bluetooth speaker you can purchase as an accessory. Regular power there. And then you have a little nightstand area below. Emergency exit here that does open for cross ventilation as well as this window. Uh, there is uh, storage underneath this dinette, but you can also convert it into a bed. Voltage meter here for the solar setup, upgraded stereo here. Also, by the way, a great thing about ours, we do include an eight inch subwoofer. So our speakers sound much better versus others. You do have a reading light up top as well as USB ports for both bunks as well, which is really great. And then also this is the furnace, the main heat source that I was telling you about. That'll keep it really, really nice and warm in here whenever it's cold outside. And then we also have a Coleman AC that's 13,500 BTUs. So for triple the AC capacity of the other one to keep it nice and cool. Okay, Elizabeth, again, it's Nico from Cliff Jones RV in Sealy. This is the 16 BHS Wolf Pup. I love to serve you at the highest level. If you have any questions or concerns, give me a call or a text 979-413-9554. Thanks again.